In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to get all the permanent buffs in Act 2 of Baldur's Gate 3. This is a continuation of the Act 1 version I did for this, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. And with that said, leave it a like if you liked it, subscribe for more guides to come, and let's get started. If you want Arabella's Shadow Entanglement, you will need to have saved her in Act 1 from Kaga. And then you can head over to Wraithwind Town and make your way up this way. And you'll find her sitting right here. You can just talk to her. Sorry. I'm just going to do one Still for all the dialogue. Just Basically, you need to find her parents, and you can easily find them just right around the corner. And I'm just going to click the body here. I can... And that will be I the journal that updated. That means you can go back to camp Arabella's and father. talk to her there. The first time you'll come, she'll get mad at you and tell you to leave her alone. You find but then all you have to do is just do another long rest and come back. Which I'm going to do now. And I went ahead and did another long rest and now I'm back. I'm going to speak to her again and she should give us the spell. I did. You. The girl must... <laughs> and she also gives you a ring with a cool, a cool ability called Shadow Blade. It's pretty unique. And then the spell is right here, Arabella Shadow Entanglement. If you want the Potion of Everlasting Vigor, this is a potion that grants you plus two strength permanently. You can come to Moonrise Towers, and then you'll need to speak to Araj Obladra, and make sure Asterian's in your party, and then you'll need to convince Asterian to let her suck his blood, Araj or take his blood like for something. My services, if you're willing. I'm going to skip all the dialogue, I'll just like tell you which ones I take. Sounds interesting. I assume he belongs to you? Three. <laughs> or whatever you want. Can't there. you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? I'm sorry, but I, because there's something wrong with her blood. I can see. <laughs> and we should have the potion in our inventory. There it is. The next permanent buff is a Gale only buff. So you'll have to have Gale in your party. And then you'll come to the Moonrise Towers. And we're going to head up to the second floor. The nearest library? This is just where you talk to Cathric Thorn for the first time. Make your way back in here. Wait for this guy to go away and then lockpick this door. No, no. When you come into this room, go ahead and click the books right here that are above the row of books. You'll hear a click and then pick up the heart. Stick the heart in this ancient altar. And then interact the with this thing right was here with Gale. On the tadpoles. A ritual circle. Judging by the shadow sigils inscribed, it was used in the creation of Balthazar's moon lanterns. And make sure you erase the, sh the sigil, and that's how you'll get it. It doesn't take much. The sigils fade. The circle's tainted magic dissolving harmlessly into the ether. For the briefest moment, you feel the touch of a reassuring hand on your shoulder. Mistra has noted your service. And if you check your buffs, you'll see it right here. There are two buffs you can get down inside the Myconid colony. This is after you fight Kethrick Thorm, the end boss of the act, so you can't get these two to the very end. 
But if you saved us, the brain from Act 1, in the Nautiloid ship when you begin the game, it will be here in this cage, right here. And you can go ahead and talk to it and try to free it. I'm gonna try to persuade him. It is wrong. Other. You sing. We are free! Thank you, friend. But perils remain near and far. Better to stay together. You and us, we. We will remain with you. Call us, and we will be at your side. And now we have our very own summon for us. Conjure us. And the final buff is Gith Zarai Mind Barrier, and you get this one at the very end of Act 2 after you fight Catherick Thorm and head down into the Myconid Colony. Then go to the bottom right. You'll see a thingy right here. Go ahead and touch it. The console, it is and you need to connect every one of these to solve the puzzle. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do it. Just go ahead and do the top one, which is the easiest. It's just straight across. And the next one we can do is green. Just go down here. And now we can do gold. And blue. That's the puzzle complete. And now we can go pick up the Waking Mind. Sitting right here. And we need to take the Waking Mind back to the Necrotic Laboratory. It's right over here. Go ahead and stick the mind right here. Use your tadpole. It raised me, and I will pass my technique on to you. I'll do it. Touch my mind and purge it. At the very moment you do, I will make my knowledge yours. The awareness that floods you is nothing like the tadpole. It is tentative and tinged with the loneliness of eons. It fades beneath your touch. But you feel something left behind. A fragment. It is only knowledge yet, without comprehension. But when you use it, you will... see. And I... Now I should have the Sarai Mind Barrier. And that brings me to the end of the video. If you liked it, leave it a like. Subscribe for more guides to come because I'll be making an Act 3 version of this as well. And I'll see you in the next one.